Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos and welcome to my guide to the bolstering affix. So how does bolstering work? Well, when an enemy dies, they buff all the other enemies uh, by 20% health and damage, maximum health and damage. So their percent health is going to stay the same. There are a couple other things that aren't mentioned in this tooltip. One, uh, the range of bolstering is 30 yards, so any enemy that's farther away than 30 yards when one dies will not get buffed by bolstering. Two, bolstering only affects enemies that are in combat uh, with you at the time, so you, won't, you don't have to worry about bolstering enemies that are within range but not in combat with you. Uh, and three, even though it's only non-boss enemies that do the bolster when they die, they can bolster onto bosses, so you really don't want to pull trash with bosses uh, on bolstering weeks. Okay, so with the basics out of the way, let's talk about some of the ways to beat bolstering. As you know, bolstering is at its worst when there's enemies of different health amounts in the same pull, right? So one enemy with way more health than the others around it, or one enemy with way less health than all the others around it. And one tool in your kit uh, is crowd control. You can use crowd control to isolate the enemies of different health amounts and then just kill all the enemies with the same health at the same time outside of bolstering range of that enemy. And that's a great way to handle that. Sometimes you don't have the option to do that though, and you're forced to pull enemies with different amounts of health uh, at the same time, or enemies will add into the pull halfway through and you'll have to switch your damage onto them to avoid bolstering. Uh, so that's the second tool that we have, is focused damage. Uh, now, I have the icon here for Subtlety Rogue. That's because Subtlety is one of the best specs in the game at doing this. They can focus their damage uh, onto any target in AoE. But you really have to be careful when you're pulling you know, one enemy with 3 million health and five enemies with 500,000 health, uh, it's very easy for those five enemies to just fall over right at the start of the pull and bolster that big enemy into oblivion. Uh, so when you're forced to do a pull like that without crowd control, you need to be really careful and you need to not use AoE abilities uh, unless they are gonna help DPS everything evenly rather than unevenly. So in that scenario with one enemy with a lot more health than all the things surrounding it, Obviously, the best thing to do would be to crowd control the enemy with high health and kill all the others, but sometimes that's not possible due to the infested pattern uh, or because the big enemy is not susceptible to crowd control, right? Like the mini bosses in Shrine of the Storm or the Ashvane commanders in Siege of Buralis. Uh, so in those spots, if you can't focus your damage or if that would be too inefficient to do so, if your group has too many uh, specs like Havoc Demon Hunter and Balanced Druid that just lose too much from doing that, uh, you can instead use a DPS taunt. And what you can do is you can run into that pole, right? The DPS can tank the enemy that is not susceptible to crowd control, and then the rest of the group can kill the small enemies far away from that enemy so that they don't bolster it uh, before you actually then switch and the tank comes back in, grabs threat from the mini boss, uh, and deals with it. Usually DPS can survive those ki kinds of enemies uh, for a little while, especially with the use of their defensive abilities, especially if the enemy is a caster, like the Wind Speaker in Shrine of the Storm, right? They don't actually hit all that hard with their melees, and you can just kick their casts and, uh, and handle it that way. Another tool that a lot of groups have but are unwilling to use against bolstering is displacement effects. These are things like Shining Force, but also Death Grip. Uh, you, can, you can do a pull the way you would normally do it as if bolstering was inactive, and just when all the enemies are at 5% and are about to die, just knock them all away from the enemy that you don't want to bolster, or grip that enemy out of the group. Uh, and because bolstering is only 30 yards, since it was nerfed to 30 yards, this is actually pretty feasible in a lot of cases, and I think it's something that's underused. And I got one final piece of, uh, of high technology gameplay that you might want to use against bolstering, and that is mind control abilities. If you have a death knight that can mind control undead or a priest that can mind control a lot of stuff, uh, you can just mind control an enemy before it would get bolstered, and because it's friendly at the time uh, to you, it won't actually get bolstered by all the enemies dying around it. Uh, so that's a great way to handle pulls that contain such an enemy that are surrounded by a bunch of small mobs. Thanks for watching this short guide to the bolstering affix. I hope you found something useful here. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, maybe check out some of the other content on here. I've got guides to other affixes. I've got longer videos, such as fully commentated dungeon runs from my group. Uh, and I also stream on Twitch, so follow me there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.